Hi, and welcome to Visual Basic Tutorial. In this very tutorial, I'm going to be creating a multiplication timetable. You might be wondering why am I creating another multiplication timetable? But the difference in this case is uh, this very timetable is going to be using a wild loop. So I've already added a button, so let me start by giving that button a name. So I'm going to call it Multiply. That's the name of my button right there there multiply that's the button I intend to use the next thing I would do now is add a list box because I want all my outputs to be displayed on the list box then followed by a text box where you enter the value you intend to multiply that's the text box right there now let me get myself a label as a label and maybe create another button this very button in this case is going to be an exit button there so I have all my components in place so this very label maybe I need two of those let's just copy yeah that's one more label right there yeah there okay so we enter the number we intend to multiply here so we say enter number to be multiplied right there so let's move this aside or maybe maybe we should rearrange it and just push this somewhere here and we have all our buttons right here this is where we enter number to be multiplied and here will be our heading so let's increase the font of this label well let's go in there and just give it a name um, multiplication times table okay there we have our multiplication table right there as a heading so let's increase the font size of that multiplication table let's say about yeah that's that's good enough for me maybe if maybe I should just change the color I don't know but um, I think that'll do it for now the next thing is let's start our codes so in here exit so let's just say me dot close right there all right that's cool now for the multiplier which is the first button so I'm just going to maybe declare first thing first let's declare a variable in there an integer variable number two multiply that's the name of my variable number to multiply as integer now that's my variable right there number to multiply now come into my button right here and I'll start by saying do while do while number to multiply is less than and equals to 12 there so let me just assign a value to the very first integer right there I've already assigned a value of 1 there so number to multiply is less than and equals to 12 so what I'll do next is I'll then say number to multiply equals now let me use it this way I can always say number to multiply plus equals plus equals 1 which means increment this value by 1 and loop now my list box we should have been here list box 1 dot add items or dot items okay right there so if I enter the following enter the number to multiply what will happen in this case is this program will automatically generate 1 to 12 so let's give that a try and see what will happen so if I click on this what you see is 1 to 12 Okay, but we want it as a multiplication timetable exit from the system. Okay, 
Now, the textbooks. Okay, now the textbooks, like I said earlier on, would be, we need a speech mark there, multiply, enter the sign multiply there, but you need, we need and here to concatenate everything, just bring it together. Right. So let me close this so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, the next thing is, and I'll need my text box. Let me go in there and just say by value, let's multiply this. I just want you to show the number I intend to multiply. That is a text box. Text box one dot text. Close that right there. So my text box one dot text will show up. So the next thing I want to do is if you guys want I can just run this let me run this and let's see what will happen if we enter any value in here we enter a value right there and we multiply you can see it says 1 multiplied by 4 okay the next thing we need to now do is in here we enter another one of these but in this case that becomes equals enter the sign equals right there so equals what equals all of these but what will then happen is i will then enter just multiplication right here this very one take that off take this off so what i've just said to the system is whatever number is inside number to multiply multiply by whatever i have in my text content so let's see that seems to have an error here let's see if that error still appears no so let me run this program I think you guys might not be able to see the rest of the code right now let me go to my tools and reduce the size of my font font uh, let's take it down to about maybe 14 yeah you can see all of the codes right now that's much better okay why can't we see what's in there no, you still cannot see the rest of the code. Let's go back and get it sorted. Take it to 12. Okay, this is much better. You can see the public class form 1, my declaration, my end button right there. And that is supposed to be my code. So let's run this program now. Enter a value right here, 7. Okay, you can see the seven multiplication timetable, but we need one thing. Supposing we intend to refresh the system. Okay, the next thing is to create a clear button. So let me just click on that and copy one there and uh, change the text message. Let's change that to reset there. Now, since that is done, Yep, maybe we can leave the arrangement like that. Let's double click on that and see if we can enter one or two codes there. Uh, because that is copied, I have it right here. So let me just delete that third button. The third button, double click on it. Oh, that's the exit. Double click on the reset button, which is right there. So what I would do next is, so list box one, dot item, items dot uh, clear that's it right there okay we might as well ask it to refresh the list box we paste that right there then text box one itself dot text equals reset now let me run the program again if I run it now hopefully I should be able to now that's it reset that's fine enter another data hmm nothing happened you see that I've clicked on that it's a, it's a problem now we have a problem so what I'll do next is I think uh, right in here where it says reset button come back in there enter let's enter let's just reset our variable which is right here copy that copy that variable paste it there and paste it right there make that variable set it back to one 
hopefully this time around it should work so I enter a value there but before that let me change this to center let's get the property align center right there yeah done run the program enter my data there multiply reset enter maybe two that's it you can see it's now working the way we want reset enter another value maybe nine and that is it and that's how you create a multiplication timetable in visual basic environment using do while loop so I'm just gonna show you guys one more time the codes and um, we call it a day for now and right here we have the codes that is or uh, those are the codes that made it all up and the system do y number to multiply is less than and equals to 12 and enter whatever values generated in the increment uh, variable by one refresh the system uh, meanwhile I think this refresh shouldn't be there let me just take that off or you can I don't know, let's comment that out yeah there and uh, the refresh button right there so if I run the program one more time this is what you guys will see uh, let's go for maybe eight timetable that's a timetable refresh give us three times table there okay and that's how you use do a do while loop inside visual basic to develop a multiplication timetable thank you and bye for now